In this video, I want to show you how to use Gun Bunch Tight End to bomb cover four palms and cover four quarters. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And I believe this channel will give you the tips and the strategies that you need to be successful in this game. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk with you really quickly um, about a great, 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 great setup out of two specific plays. The first one is going to be uh, PA boot over. The second one we're going to dive into is the play uh, X spot a little bit. But we're going to talk about both of these and why they're super, super uh, effective against the, um, against the cover four meta. And so basically all you're going to do here is you're going to streak both your outside receivers and then you're going to take Mike Evans and put him on a corner route. That's it. That's the only setup. And what you'll notice here is this will completely break um, the entire defense here. And, of course, as soon as I say that, I think it might have been because I didn't pass him in on the defensive side. But what you'll see is this will completely break cover four. Um, just give me one second here. Let me, re let me reset it here. And let me make sure I'm in cover four quarters. Um, so, again, if they run cover four quarters, they will get – I mean, th this will literally break the defense. I'm going to pass commit so they go to the right assignments. And here's what you'll see. And that's what we're looking for right there. Every single time, this is a one-play touchdown streak. Of course, Antonio Brown needs to catch it. But this is kind of some of the stuff that this bunch tight that I've come to expect from bunch tight end. Bunch tight end is super, super glitchy. And it's super, super dominant. And the reason why is having to do with the alignment and then obviously the routes that you have at your disposal. And obviously, if they give you an issue, you can always rack catch over the match zone just like that as well. But again, cover four quarters, and all we're going to do is streak, corner route, streak. That's it. I like to leave the play action on because I think you get really, really good blocking. Um, and again, the only reason that it wouldn't be open is if the match coverage doesn't go to the crossing route like it should. Um, and normally the reason that would happen is if there's a press. So like if the cover four quarters were to press on this play, um, it, it would cause a little bit more of an issue, but you'll see right here. Uh, even if that if that happens, your crossing route's wide open. If even if that happens, your crossing route's wide wide open. Now, cover four palms is not as good as cover four quarters, in my opinion. Um, and you'll see here, this is cover four palms, um, and it will literally kill cover four palms. I mean, there's no there's no question about it. That's a one play touchdown, huge play every single time against cover four quarters. The beauty of this is this also takes care of cover three match. It really takes care of pretty much any match coverage in the entire game. So what you'll see is, once again, same setup. And you're going to see now that corner route is going to pull the outside third, and you're going to be able to hit this over the top. Now right there I did a really bad job of pass leading it to Antonio Brown. But again, cover three buzz. This is match coverage, right? And you're going to notice here again the same combination is going to kill it. This is cover three buzz, pass lead it straight up, and as you can see there, one play touchdown against cover three. So that is how you can just absolutely torch the cover the, the match coverage meta with those combinations. So you just need a corner route. Um, if you don't have a corner route, uh, you can try an out route. Let me show you what an out route would look like. Um, an out route does still work relatively well. The problem is the outside quarter doesn't always jump down on an out route. So that's just something that you have to understand. Um, obviously, you know, if you even if you took him and you took him and, and basically motioned him out, you could try this as well. This motion out does help some, but again, that would be where you would want to probably hit your crossing route more frequently. So, anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the full ebook, it's in the description. And if you want to get the free sample, just text me. My number is in the top left hand corner and it's also in the description.